So we're going to start uh, the series on outside edge drills uh, going forwards to start. All of the weight now is, uh, gets distributed to the heel and uh, the most important thing is that uh, the outside edge, a lot of kids they think they're on an outside edge but really they're just on a flat blade. So if you look at my feet, um, a really good outside edge is one where almost the side of your boot is touching the ice. So what I say to kids is this is your outside edge and this looks pretty good. This is a good outside edge but this is a better outside edge. So flip that ankle over. So another thing that I tell kids is that if it hurts a little bit and you're actually doing a good job it hurts your ankle to be sitting on that outside edge that's probably a good thing so um, to explain it in a little bit more in some detail on the outside edge when I rotate it over if I didn't put any weight into my stick or onto the other foot and I lifted up the other foot um, then I should be able to hold that edge uh, that outside edge so again um, uh, you want to be able to rotate your ankle over and now because we're gonna be going forwards, you're gonna be rotating that ankle over first on the outside edge, that's the first thing. Then, lift up the toes and press into the heel. So if you can look at my feet one more time, so we can actually listen, here's the outside edge. When I flip over, no sound, no grip. But as soon as I distribute my weight, I can take some chunks out of the ice and really rip up the ice. I can do it better than that, here we go. There we go. So that crack is me literally grabbing the ice with my skate. So a lot of kids confuse this with just lifting up, lifting up the toe, and they think they're doing it. But the most important thing is that you can't be on a flat blade. Me distributing my weight in my heel isn't doing anything right now. You have to get on the outside edge. Then while you're on the outside edge, lift up uh, the weight so that you distribute it all into the heel. So again, a nice deep rip. Two key components for that outside edge one is when you're crossing over, a good crossover has lots of space, your feet have lots of space in between, you're sitting on your outside edge on the leg that you just crossed over and your feet are right beside each other. A bad crossover is one leg ahead of the other, so now there's no weight underneath my body. One's ahead, one's behind, you want all your weight to be able to sit directly underneath you. So when you cross over, they're right beside each other and there's space in between. A bad crossover also has no space in between, okay? Um, one more main thing is as you're crossing that one leg over, keep your knee up nice and high and while it's up in the air, keep it bent. So it's in a nice athletic stance and I actually even turn my toe. So I turn my toe and then flip over. Uh, in the order of things, I tell the kids first and foremost, first flip to the outside edge. Then pick up your leg, turn that uh, your toe over, finish the crossover. While you're in the crossover stage, we have the grind and the rip, just like what we did when we were going forwards. So you start with the grind, and then the second this leg touches down, you should be able to hear the rip. So just look at my toes. The last thing is the second this leg touches down, you snap into the toe, and then you push off of that toe. So you're distributing your weight from the push off leg onto the other so that you slide. The last most important thing that you should be teaching, a uh, very com uh, common component, is when you're touching down. So when you cross over, if you can look at my feet again, the first most important thing is that you flip to the outside edge first, then you pick up your foot. Don't pick up your foot, then flip. First most important thing, flip, then pick up your foot, and then when this leg touches down, it touches down to one of two things. You can flip it down to an outside edge, which is stage one, or if you want to progress to the next stage, stage two, you're pressing down to the outside edge with the weight already in the heel. Okay, so don't place your foot down, then flip it to an outside edge, but you're on your outside edge on your left, you pick your leg up on the right, and then when this leg touches down, it's already on the outside edge and already pressing into the heel. The last one was uh, outside edges, going forwards, weight goes to the heel, um, you're going forwards with hip rotation. So you're rotating your hips as you go, hips face these boards, then they face those boards. Uh, a quicker version of that is to not rotate your hips and literally just to do the C cuts. Last one that we did was really quick. This one we're gonna do quite long, so I want you to try to hold it instead of for one second. You're still gonna do it with the hip rotation, only now you're gonna do it for at least three seconds. So push off on the outside edge, hold, face these boards, cross the leg over, hold. Just like we worked on before, 
You should be grinding on the, uh, with your weight on the heel. The second this leg touches down, your weight goes to the toe and then you push off. So heel. Next one is the exact same thing that we just did with hip rotation, nice and long, hold for three seconds, only now you're going to actually place your hand to the ice, so really sit down nice and low. 